Hello there, YouTube. Had another request to show my butane lighter. I've had to fill it, and it is time to fill it. I was using it. You have a port on the bottom. Now, some of these you had little adapters for. But this one right off the shelf worked. This brand. This is my Harbor Freight. I think it was on sale for $7. This cost like 5 something. Some people shake the can up. There's all kinds of videos. Some people turn it upside down, but I figured like a paint can. If there's a straw on the bottom where you turn it upside down to fill it, you're just going to get air. I just get my thing on here, on the port. Careful your face. You should wear glasses or something. Then I might turn it up. And I did put a little too much because you can hear it spray back. No one's here to spray back for a second. Let's see how full it is. Oh yeah, it was down like this on full blast. It was down like that, it was running out. So I do both. I'll put it on there, and that feels cool. I know it took some, because liquid. I figure if it's a paint can, you know you turn it upside down, you just get here. I do it both ways. I'll shoot that sucker in there, then I'll flip it up, and a lot of refillable lighters, if you leave them set for a day, they seem to work better. I figured why I did that. I'm going to show how I thought our two wires go. This is just one piece we're going to pin it to. When I screw it back, I untwist it, and I'll shove the braids together like this. Now, you want to use heat streak tubing. If you're in a bind like me all the time, you can handle heat streak tubing. Use a lot of black electrical tape or whatever color you want. They make it different colors. Now, I need to get some of that. See how I'm twisting this together, okay? That's the proper way I was taught. I know the lighting ain't the greatest in here. That's the proper way I was taught. Shove it together like that. Don't do that X over like that. Please don't do that. That's just, it's, it, trust me, it's crap. If you've ever had to tear apart stuff where people's done that and you look at it and, and then you just got a big wad trying to pull it. See how nice this is smooth just like the wire. It's the same diameter. It may be the diameter of this is now, but when you put heat shrink tubing, you got a good splice. Now, we're going to attempt to do this instead of like my voltmeter video, which I haven't posted yet. I burned the insulation. It doesn't take a whole lot of heat. This sure beats the solder around. You could be out working on a car in the middle of nowhere. Heat the wire up, keep the solder out of there. Maybe put a little ball of solder. See how I put a, got a little ball of solder to take? Is that little ball of solder? I don't know if you can see it on camera. I like having my glass because that goes on there and it just... There we go. We know it's getting hot enough. You know copper's getting hot enough when you... Burn yourself. You know copper's getting hot enough when you see the green. Let's turn up a little more. These torches have a little problem. They don't like being turned sideways and upside down. It did drop a little ball on there. Don't just do a quickie solder drop because... Ooh, that took a whole lot. Now, we'll get a little closer. These don't like me turn upside down and stuff. They act up. They always work better straight. And they are kind of tricky to find that let me show you on the camera. They're kind of tricky to find that sweet spot to turn it down. I'm telling you to let go of it almost. Now I don't like this adjustment. You see where that hole goes through there? I don't like that you turn it, it makes that big flame. I just don't like it. I like it this way, pencil tip. Okay, this should be cool enough. That's tough. 
Now we're going to do the test. It's never is the prettiest thing. Unless it's ever pretty. We're going to do the test. We got a hold of this pretty good. You can see me flexing up. Really pulling that apart. I stomp my feet on the floor. Let me go off camera so I don't smack my camera. I can't pull that apart. There's no way. That's the proper way to solder two wires together. You need to put heat shrink tubing. If you don't have it, put plenty of electrical tape. And there is a trick to electrical tape. The military way is to wrap all the way across, okay, wrap back again, wrap to the middle and put extra in the middle. That, I don't know if that's just was a, uh, they just call it the military way, but trust me, when I was in the Army, that they showed us how to do that. Tape all the way across, tape back again, Go back in the middle and put a bunch in the middle. So if it starts unraveling, it's going to unravel at the middle first. So you've already covered it twice. Cover it twice, don't cover it once. We call that the military way. You can't pull that apart. You can't. I'm going to put it against my foot. While I'm on camera. I can't. It hurts my hand too much. This is number 14 gauge of a drop cord house wiring. I put that on my foot and have my hand in here. That's the proper way to solder wire. It did not pull apart. This may be on a car where something gets tugged and moved. That's how I was taught. If you don't have heat shrink tubing, it's nice to have it. It's cheap. You can buy it all different colors. I have no excuse for not having heat shrink tubing, especially doing radio stuff. But there's the review again on the torch and how to solder a wire there. But I do both. I'll get it on here like this. I'll, and I'll flip it upside down. And it is pretty economical. I've used this can that Well, I bought this thing back in February. I've been using this all year with that can. I mean, it ain't an everyday item, but... I never would have bought this. But Mr. Hiram Cook, and he has another YouTube channel, Hiram Cook... He does a lot of stuff with little stoves, alcohol stoves and stuff, and if he didn't have this, I wouldn't have bought one. Because he would not have it using it on his desk. I'm sure it's just, it looks exactly like it. If he didn't have one like this, I would not have bought it. I wouldn't just walk a store and buy it unless I know somebody's had it and what they thought of it. It does have, like I said, a problem that doesn't like being laying on its side sometimes. To get that fine, you want to turn it way down. This video is entirely too long. Thanks for watching. There we go. It's like if you turn, I was going to add that. If you turn it up too far to light it, you see me struggling to get it to fire up. Maybe that's a safety thing in there. So I can click it while it's lit. Click it. If it seems like you have it turned up too far, it doesn't want it. Maybe it's just me. But, thanks for watching.